Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are heading in to Matlock Bath. It is a bank holiday weekend. We're gonna go check out some bikes. I've got my pillion on the back, Amy B. And uh, it is the madness of Matlock. You can see the traffic as we're heading in. You would not want to come in the car today. We'll find out how busy it is in a moment. And we're gonna go and get parked up, take you for a little walk down, see what everybody's on today, and see if we can find some cool bikes. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. This is the problem, people spin around. That is another one, look. Hey, here we go, guys. If you've never been to Matlock Bath before, it's quite an interesting place. It kind of reminds me of being at the seaside. You've got candy floss shops, you've got things like arcades here, and you couldn't get any further from the sea. We're gonna have to try and find a space somewhere. I think this group of bikers in front of me have come in a group, so they're probably looking for quite a few spaces, but we'll uh, we'll filter down. Lots of bikes here, and like I said, look at these shops. Ice cream shops, lots of chip shops, lots of people, and uh, also it's renowned for lots of traffic wardens as well. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for them. They, they, they don't take no prisoners. Is it gonna, he's not going. There we go, oh priority parking I think we can get in there can we get in there yeah we'll squeeze in <laughs> yeah so uh, <laughs> we found a spot we're out on the Ducati Multistrada V4S today and uh, like I said, it's hard to get a space here on the bank holiday weekend. Uh, just seeing the police car trying to get through and uh, it's virtually impossible. But uh, yeah, unfortunately for some of the bikers on the other side of the road there was uh, just told to move. There's quite a few of them, but yeah, you think they'd have a little bit more uh, leniency um, on these uh, bank holiday weekends. So yes, we're at the top of the street of Matlock here. And uh, like I said, we've got things like the uh, arcades here. We've got lots of fish and chip shops. And uh, yeah, you would think you are at the seaside. So the first bike here, we've got a, a Vogue 300 Rally. And I've actually ridden one of these at the ABR Festival last year. And I think value for money, they're around about the three grand mark. Competes with the likes of the Honda CRF 300 Rally, half the price and uh, absolutely bang for buck. That is a good bike if you're starting out and you want to go and hit some trails. So yeah, we've got a, a right mix of bikes here today. And we've also got a, you know, bike shops here as well, selling some clothing and accessories and things like that. Not sure if the, uh, the traffic wardens have gone easy on the boys over here. But uh, let's just cross over and go and, uh, go and find out as well. It's because we've got a few bikes parked up on this side, and they're, you know, like I said, there's uh, there's plenty of space. They're, they're kind of out of the way. Yeah. Are the traffic wardens giving you any bother, or are they? Yeah, we've had to move from down there. And we've you're all right here, are right? you? That that way is private land, so. Oh, okay, yeah, that's we'll worth knowing, ain't it? But here. I've seen this before, but I, I, you know, I, I can understand when the the path gets a bit tighter. But up this end, it's. There's plenty of space. But it is a it is a beautiful place.
So uh, Amy B here has got a little bit of information to give us about Matlock Bath today. It was discovered by the Romans. Um, he used it for mining and discovered the thermal springs. Um, it then became a popular tourist hotspot when the railways were built. Um, it's still popular today as it's an integral part of some really popular motorcycle routes such as the Cat and the Fiddle and Snakes Pass. They all sort of lead into here. Yeah, that's right. So you've got things like Snakes Pass and the Cat and Fiddle if you can continue down this road. Go and have a look at a few of these bikes. We've made it across the road without getting killed. And uh, yeah, we have got some seriously shiny bikes here today. Got my Multistrada here. We seem to get a lot of police action today. And we've even got the uh, the BMW Triple Black R1250. It could actually be my dad here today because that's what he rides in there. Exactly the same spec. Yeah, that, that sounds nice. And that's what they should sound like. Cheers for yeah, We've got a, a chap here on one of the, the original Rocket 3s. They're the, they're the 2.3 litre engine in. And look at this uh, very nice, beautiful Yamaha. Right, so let's continue down. I mean, this guy looks like he's got the comfort. Another Harley Davidson. He has come on the armchair today. <laughs> well, this looks comfy. I think you get the prize for the most comfiest bike today. Yeah, heavy ish. Look, heavy, but look at that seat. That looks amazing. We'll just uh, wait for him to fire this up. Oh, oh. Yeah, beautiful. And we've got the uh, the old faithful Honda Africa Twin here as well. And this is the uh, the DCT version. I used to own one of these. Had one brand new in 2017. Absolutely loved it. And uh, I'd definitely consider getting another one. Uh, in fact, I'd like to ride the uh, the new sport version they've got coming out this year which has got the, the 19 inch wheel. These have the 21 inch front wheel. Again, a, another, another Harley Davidson. This is the day to bring them out. It's uh, nice and dry, nice and warm. There's another uh, Ducati Panigale V4. Yeah, there's, uh, there's plenty of different bike types. Got a guy here on a Ducati 848. I used to have an 848 Street Fighter back in 2014. My first Ducati. And uh, since that, I've owned about five or six, I think, now. Now, look at this one. Look, the Suzuki GT750. This one, you must. Uh, do you show this bike? Uh, I've been to the odd one, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's in very good condition. Nice to bring it out on a day like this. <laughs> Enjoy. Yes, uh, looks a nice bit of kit as well. The old Ducati Dival. It's got a few trick bits on it. The MT10. See what I mean about you know you would think you're at the seaside. <laughs> if you've never been to Matlock before, you think you're at the coast, wouldn't you? <laughs> Again, you know this beautiful. Look at the condition of this. How how shiny it is. It's like 
it's like you're just drawn to it with the silver, like a magpie. And the old V-Strom, this is another bike that I want to go try, try out at the, uh, the ABR festival this year. This is the 1050, but they, uh, they do an 800 V-Strom as well. And, um, yeah, it's definitely one I do want to just have a, a, a quick demo on. I've seen a couple of the, the Honda Repsols in this livery. You know, the, the old Mark Marquez bike, should I say. Now he's riding the, the Ducati V4s. And uh, yeah, here, here's another one that I'm going to be trying out very shortly as well. That KTM 890 Adventure, the R1. This is a bike that I'm going to be testing. I like the fact that the, the fuel sits low into the bike as well. So you just get a, a better balance to the bike. And next to that, we've got one of the Ducati Monsters. Now, Amy sat on one of these at the bike show. Uh, last year and uh, once we get her up to spec so you've just read on your CBT yeah just just about start doing some lessons she was two weeks of passing a full bike test and then um, do you want to tell the viewers what happened I fell off all right she fell off we was off-roading she broke her wrist it's taken a little time to get right but um, I think she's uh, warming to this Ducati monster this is the SP uh, they do a low seat height on these as well, so uh, you get a feet down. But yeah, another fantastic bike by Ducati. The Tenere 700, another very popular bike, built for purpose. And uh, yeah, just check this out next to it. <laughs> it's like, look at the headlights on this bad boy. Now this is one crazy custom. I mean even the handlebars, I mean the paintwork. Check out the paintwork. Yeah, it's one of the, uh, the, the older one, isn't it? Yeah, the original. This, these are the, 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 the 797 Monster. Again, great, great starting bike. I love, still like the, the, the trellis frame that they don't do anymore. But yeah, great, great bike to for, for a next one, that's for sure. And uh, this guy here in his BMW K1600 likes his comfort for sure. <laughs> that's a it's a big old bike and again another one on the end here which is this a honda you know about this bike let me tell you something about this bike oh, this, this bike made 20 years ago by honda in america to show off to harley and in the end this is honda and costed hundred fifty thousand pounds for honda and they sell it almost 30k wow. and they don't do any like a they did in whole world 150 of this and this gentleman has six of them wow yeah <laughs> this is beautiful it's almost more yeah. than 80. i've never seen anything like it it's, uh, this is beautiful yeah lovely to me. yeah really really nice condition yeah what a what a bike i've uh, truly never seen anything like that I mean look at all the switch gear and everything all all in chrome just absolutely beautiful and and these are the places you you need to bring these things to and we've got the uh, the Royal Enfield classic 350 next to this one as well again great selling bike Value for money, pound for pound. Royal Enfield, always pull it out of the bag. So uh, we'll just continue a little bit further down. Actually got some cars here as well. And there's a, an old Ford. A little bit quieter down this end. 
this Triumph Speed 4 and the, the BMW 1000R. Yeah, some more of the GSs, very popular bikes, great touring bike. And uh, here we've got the MT-09, this is the SP, rode one of these last year, uh, put it against a, an MT-10 as well and um, I'll be honest, I actually preferred the MT-09 SP, uh, I just thought it was a more of a usable power. And, uh, and again, you know, I had one of these last year as well, Ducati V4, had the V4S, beautiful bike, uh, sold it, only used it twice on track on Ducati days. And, um, yeah, great bike, do miss it, but you know, you, you can't keep hoarding bikes. If you're not using them, I just tend to move them on and look forward to getting the, the next one. Speaking of the MT-10, we've got one parked on the end here. I think the new MT-9 have started to adopt a different front end as well. A uh, bit, bit more transformer looking. Yeah, it looks like he's got a bit of perhaps leakage, maybe not off his bike, but um, again, I do like these RSs and the Triumphs. I'm looking, he's a fellow Multistrada rider. This is the Pikes Peak. So, uh, my buddy that I've recently been going out riding with, he's bought the, the RS version of this bike. Uh, he's traded his Pikes Peak in for the RS, he's super pleased with the RS, but um, yeah, the, the RS is a lot of money, as so are these, but yeah, I've had a go on one of these as well, and these are a great road bike. If you want the comfort and the power and the turning, they've got the smaller wheels than, than mine. So this bike's got the 17 inch front and rear wheel, I believe, uh, mine's got a 19 inch front, so these Pikes Peaks, they do turn a bit sharper. An older Triumph Tiger 105 there, you know, I don't know what uh, what year this would be. It's got a private plate on the back, but, you know, it's nice to see some of the older bikes still on the road. Let's see if Amy recognises this one, because this is what she had last. Um, what do you think of this one? Perfect. Best one we've seen. <laughs> yeah, Amy started off on the GSX-S 125 Suzuki. Really good bike. I mean, you've got your Benelli now, ain't you? The BN125. They are literally half the price of uh, the Suzuki's. But it served a purpose for the time she was on it. And we've got a bit more bling over here, look. Some more of the Harley Davidson boys. We've got three in a row. Sorry. It's all right. Yeah, and these. The GSXR, the double R, got a set of it's got a set of twin Yoshimura cans on, which is probably gonna absolutely roar when they fire that up. So yeah, okay, so what have we got here? Um, is this a custom job? Must be, I've never seen one of these before. This old Honda. The CI on that is proper low. <laughs> I mean, if you just go stand next to that, we'll just give a, an idea of, you know, uh, you can see where Amy's knees are, and um, and she's only sort of five foot two. Now here's an interesting bike because uh, I'm actually going to be riding one of these. I don't know if this is the 24 version, but um, I'm going to be riding one next week as a test. The Yamaha R6, it's got its own unique sort of livery. So one thing I've noticed as well with, with tyres, so these are the, the Michelin Road 5s and this guy's got the Road 6s on, but the Road 6s certainly seem to be a popular choice of tyre. Since I've had them put on my Multistrada V4S, it is absolutely transformed the bike.
this uh, Ducati Darvel. Yeah, this uh, this pub at the back here as well, the Rose Cottage. I definitely recommend if you want some really nice food in there as well. So yeah, we're kind of back up the, the top end again, and as you can see, some of the bikers have uh, parked on the pavement again. Maybe the the authorities will be back down again, or. Not allowed. So I think there seems to be a little cut off point here from where the, the authorities leave you alone. Um, I was told that this bit down here is um, actually all private land which is, isn't uh, marked out but still has the, the double yellers on the kerb. But yeah, as we walk back up, check out this Ducati 900 GTS, absolute beaut of a bike. Is a another rocket uh, Triumph 3. This is again the the 2.3 liter, absolute beautiful condition. Again, maybe I was wrong on the the rules of this end. There's another Ducati Desmo. I think these are the 750 SSs on. Not correctly, but I'm sure I've seen some of these recently in the 1974 collection from Ducati. Yeah, so the guys are getting moved on. Like I say, I think uh, there's definitely no parking on this side of the road. So yeah, we've just uh, took a second walk back up here again. And yeah, like I say, bikes are rotating all day long. It's definitely worth coming to check out if you've not been to Matlock Bath before. How's this for service? So like I said, you can't really come to Matlock and not get any fish or chips or of any description. Diet starts tomorrow. So I uh, hope you've liked our little walk around Matlock Bath. It's been absolutely bonkers with bikes today. I hope you like the video, guys. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Give us a like, and we'll see you in the next one.